Okay, this is our test setup on the Tostin bridge here. Uh, obviously, this is going to be a little different than your well installation. We are pumping off of a bridge. I can do some monkey things up here on the trusses to pump it. But this is our well head, our AK well head, and then we got a pipe that goes down to our one gallon milk jug. So a lot of C clamps, a lot of bar clamps, just to put a temporary thing in place. But whether we're pumping 22 feet from the Missouri River or 22 feet from your well, it's the same thing. Um, and this demonstrates beyond any shadow of a doubt that yes, that it water sealed piston works great at this depth. We put some blue food coloring in a one gallon milk jug just so you can see the water. Uh, the AK pump has a water sealed piston. We're going to show you that in a minute. No one believes that we can pump water with a water seal piston. I'm going to prove it to you right now, lifting about 21, 22 feet out of the Missouri River. We're going to fill that one gallon milk jug in about 12 seconds. Zoom down. There you go. You can see it pump in the river. You can see it's leaking like a sieve down there. I uh, will explain that in a second. But yeah, we're lifting 22 feet out of the Missouri River with a water sealed piston, five gallons per minute. Here we just pulled the pump out of the Missouri River um, and you can actually see the mechanism that we use to pump. Uh, we have a stainless steel ball precision ground mirror finish that's our uh, foot valve. It just falls into a PVC hole. It's the um, you can see there's still water in the pump. You can see it pumps quite well. I'm going to show you how loose that piston is. Look at that piston. That is not a tight fit at all. Um, it's actually very sloppy, and that's uh, the geometry of that piston. When it hits the water, creates a hydrodynamic seal, and will pump water. And we've tested this water seal piston up to 75 feet, no problem. Um, but yeah, it's a great design. It's a great approach to pumping from shallow wells, and we're the only ones doing it. So the question is, what kind of crazy voodoo is going on here to make this happen? There's no voodoo. It's just science. This is how we normally think of water. It's a liquid. But if you squeeze water between two plates into a thin film, it acts completely differently. There's no flow, but the two surfaces have almost no friction. The hydrodynamic seal. Super slippery, no flow. And this is the property of water we are exploiting for our shallow well AK pump. This is the same property of water that causes your car to hydroplane when it hits a puddle of water on a highway. Ice skates also use this property of water become super slippery.